Hey YouTube, hey YouTube, hey. So um, I'm just making a little quick video here because I've just watched uh, the interview, the notorious interview. Um, uh, you know, you know, you know the interview by now. If you've been following the news for the past month or whatever, you know the interview. It's a James Franco and Seth Rogen movie that where they play a talk show host and his executive producer slash best friend, respectively, who decide to take on take on Kim Jong Un and do a little interview Frost Nixon style with that guy. And then they're coerced by the CIA, played by Lizzie Kaplan. Not what well, the CIA are played by Lizzie Kaplan, but they've got an agent who is, and she's kind of hot. Uh, into assassinating him whilst they're there. Um, this, you know, you should know a bit of the background by now, like I said. it's uh, It was the Sony were sort of pressured in by North Korea, or possibly not then, possibly anonymous, who knows, uh, into not releasing it, as, you know, just because they thought they were going to. People were just going to say they were going to fuck shit up. Then at the last minute, they released a, a, a limited release on Christmas Day. And now it's finally getting a UK release. I managed to watch it on the US Netflix um, just tonight. And I got to say, man, early indications were that it was kind of mixed. No, I was I was overwhelmed by it. I thought it was hilarious. Uh, I thought it was brilliant. Um, this is the wackiest James Franco's ever been. She doesn't want to be in the videos. She doesn't want to review anything. But uh, yeah, she just photobombed me there. So there's that. Anyway, this. <laughs> swear to God, man. I swear to God. Yeah, so anyway, this is the wackiest James Franco's ever been. Um, you know, if you've seen This is the End, he's pretty wacky in that. He plays a party himself. If you've seen, if you're one of the 15 people who, who have watched The Green Hornet, he kind of, he's a little bit wacky in that as well. Um, yes, he's outstanding in this. I laughed a lot, repeatedly. If you can make it through the first five minutes of the movie with laughter, then grant. If not, probably leave. If so, dude, it's, uh, it's, it's just brilliant. He plays this like vain douchebag TMZ-esque talk show host who's just talk who just you know presents bullshit and sort of not really news to the people to the masses just fodder not 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 real legit news and this is re this is reflected by Seth Goldberg Seth uh, Goldberg there I can't speak now there anyway yeah so his best mates, <laughs> she's throwing me off, man. She's throwing me off something shocking. Oh, dude. <sighs> yeah. So anyway, yeah. And his best friend, executive producer, is, uh, he's, you know, he thinks he's doing well in life until he meets this guy who's actually on 60 Minutes. And he's like, you know, I present the news, you present bullshit, really. And, uh, yeah, and then Seth Rogen takes it upon himself and like, we need to go legit. This is grand, but it's not satisfy me anymore then they then this the ball starts leading to them going over to north korea to interview kim jong-un and i have to give props to the guy who plays kim jong-un because he is you know at one moment he's he's a south park character and in other moments he's just utterly terrifying so yeah man great range and you can see how like it is it's like I don't know how to say this. It's like a poor man's Frost Nixon in the in that James Franco's character Dave and Kim Jong un are sort of manipulating each other into into sort of boosting their own respective agendas. Uh is it funny? Fuck yes it's funny. Um the one of the best bits involves a tank and Katy Perry. Firework. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, but um, honestly, yes. If if you can go, if you if you can get to see it, fucking watch it, man. It's just honest. It it's just ah, oh, man. I haven't laughed that hard. It's 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 Seth Rogen's best in a while. In a while, dude. I would say better than Bad Neighbors. I would say that a lot. And uh, yeah, just even for what it means, man. I mean, fucking Charlie Chaplin was was standing up and doing parodies of Hitler. 
during the 1930s, during World War II, this shit gets banned off of anonymous threat on the internet? This, that's just fucking ridiculous. No, so yeah, stand up for freedom of speech, watch this fucking movie, and have a good time when you do it. Those are my thoughts on the interview. If you liked it, please comment below, like, subscribe, share, all the usual jazz. Otherwise, just fucking watch it, dude. Come on.